Today we will be talking about the fermentation process of cocoa beans to produce cocoa powder. First a little bit about cocoa powder and how it affects your body. Cocoa increases fat metabolism. Increasing one's intake of raw organic cocoa powder can improve their body's ability to metabolize fat and use it as energy. This was tested on rats in 2005. When rats were fed real cocoa, they exhibited significantly lower rates of fatty tissue compared to the rats that weren't fed cocoa. Cocoa also helps people lose weight by stimulating serotonin production in the brain. Serotonin helps suppress your appetite, therefore meaning you'll consume less calories in the long term. The fermentation process is quite simple and pretty quick. It takes about 5 to 10 days. The pods are harvested and cracked open all by hand. Inside the cocoa pods are the cocoa beans, surrounded by the pulp and other organic materials. All the beans that are harvested are loaded into the closed wooden boxes with the small openings to allow for drainage and aeration. Beans can be transferred from one box to another each day to increase aeration. In these boxes, microorganisms like yeasts and bacteria are grown. After about four to five days, the beans are laid out in the sun to dry for two to three more days. Once dried out, cocoa cocoa can be made, and then can be further processed to make chocolate. Trial cocoa bean fermentations were done, one with the addition of 200 parts per million of natamycin to inhibit the growth of yeast, and one regular fermentation with yeast. These trials were compared and contrasted. The main species involved in the fermentation process are listed below. In the fermentations which natamycin was added, the same bacterial species were found, but yeast growth was inhibited. Both fermentation scenarios were analyzed physically and chemically. These analyses showed that the cocoa beans that were fermented without incorporation of yeast had decreased production of ethanol and higher alcohols and esters throughout fermentation. More testing revealed that the beans that were fermented without the production of yeast turned out to be purple color and not fully brown. Also, the taste of the cocoa or chocolate chocolate made from these beans tasted quite a lot more acidic and lacked true chocolate flavors. On the other hand, beans fermented with the yeast were a true chocolate brown color and gave the chocolate that was made a typical chocolate taste. What was found in this test was that yeast growth during cocoa bean fermentation is essential when developing quality cocoa and quality chocolate. Specific environmental conditions have a large significance to the fermentation process. Lactic bacteria is an important factor in cocoa bean fermentation. According According to labs done by Biotechnology and Bioprocess Engineering in February of 2005, the optimal pH and temperature for Lactobacillus SP was found. Optimal pH for Lactobacillus is 6 and the optimal temperature is 36 degrees Celsius. So therefore, if any temperature changes occur during the process, it could potentially slow down the fermentation. Also, if the pH becomes too acidic too soon, there will be a great reduction in the flavor of the final product. Fermentation of the beans begins with yeast and bacterial growth which insects like the fruit fly are responsible for. The yeast's role is to convert the sugars in the pulp surrounding the beans into alcohol. The alcohol then gets oxidized by bacteria to acetic acid and then to carbon dioxide and water. The pulp breaks down and drains away. The lactic acid is produced but, as the acetic acid is oxidizing the alcohol, conditions become more aerobic therefore slowing down the activity of the lactic acid. The beans are then stirred to increase aeration and bacterial activity. The acidity and high temperature kills the cocoa bean. This causes the cell walls to break down and mix with the earlier substances, allowing a bunch of chemical changes to take place in the beans. These complex chemical changes are what give the cocoa its flavor and color. Thanks for watching my video on the fermentation process of cocoa beans and I hope you enjoyed.